today, again, we're, we're walking through Whova. Um, Whova is the conference app, and it is how you will get all of the information to join sessions, interact, and network with other people, and um, interact with speakers, get polls, find the slides. If your speakers have slides, access the Zoom recordings, um, and also um, just get all the information you possibly can about Nyan. Um, the app is available both on, on a desktop or a laptop through your web browser, and it's also available to be downloaded through the Apple Store and the Google App Store. Um, the primary difference between the web version and the smartphone apps is where your main navigation is located. So on the web app, your main navigation is always going to be over here on the left hand side of the screen. On the smartphones, your main navigation of home, agenda, community and messages will instead be located along the bottom of your smartphone screen. Um, the other piece I always like to point out is the Whova guides. So a lot of times I say, oh, there's information on how to join the sessions or there's a short video in the Whova attendee guide, which you can access at the bottom of your resources list. Um, and th this is gonna, this guide will be a way where you can um, check in on a lot of the stuff um, which you are, are covering, which we're gonna to cover today. Um, the other nice thing I like about the web app compared to the smartphone app is that if you right click on things, you can open everything in a new tab. So you can jump back and forth between the agenda or your private messages or the community board a little bit more easier than if you're on your smartphone. So everyone, when you log in, um, you'll smart on the you'll start on the home page. <laughs> um, on the home page, we have a welcome message from the Anayan president um, from Lynn, as well as a 30 minute video um, between Lynn and Pauline that just talks about the program, talks about who Nyan is, how we help the Rotary Youth Exchange family, um, and gives a little bit of a sneak peek into some of the fun program pieces. I'm also going to plug the Nyan um, YouTube page. If you open that video, um, you would be able to subscribe to the Nyan channel. And we are looking for more, more subscribers so that we can customize that URL to make it a lot easier to find. Um, so that's a great, that video has a great introduction into the program. Um, and again, if you have first time attendees, or if you are a first time attendee, you haven't come to a nine before, I would strongly recommend taking about 20 minutes to watch that video. Um, the next primary piece that we want that I wanna talk about today is the agenda. Um, the agenda is your key to all of the sessions. So some of you may have joined um, today's meeting through Whova. Um, that would be this icon over here. Um, if you want to use Whova but join Zoom locally on your computer, that might be best for everyone who's interacting with us um, with interpretation. I would recommend clicking join Zoom and that will open the meetings, all of the plenaries, all of the breakout sessions you want to join, that will open them on your local computer. Um, if you happen to be out and about during the conference, you can also watch these through your smartphone, um, but the screen is going to be very small and it will probably eat up a lot of data. So we are recommending that if you can, um, you join the conference uh, through, your, through a computer um, while, while you're doing this. The other great thing about the agenda is if um, speakers have posted questions, or if another attendee has a question, um, those will show up uh, in, in the session. There's also polls that speakers can, can ask. So if, so today I would ask you to go to the Intro to Whova um, session on your computer and then go ahead and click onto polls and at, ask an answer or interact with these polls. So is this your first time using Zoom? 
not my first time using Zoom. Um, where will you travel first? I would love to travel to Brazil. I'm trying to organize a trip to, the, to a beach in Brazil for our first big trip um, after, after COVID lockdown is over. Um, and, and words that make me think of Rotary Youth Exchange are community. And so what this will do is as people ask and answer these polls, we'll be able to get more information. And so for your speakers, for your breakout sessions, um, they might be trying to get more information to help customize the session to what people are interested in or what, what, what biggest questions people have. Um, in order to get back to the main agenda, you're gonna click on this little arrow and that will pull over a view so you can see the other sessions during the, the conference. Um, and we do expand the agenda. Don't worry, there are not two weeks worth of sessions. There's only <laughs> primary sessions today if you want help and then starting on the 19th. Um, so for example, if we click into the plenary, this is the view you'll see until 10 minutes before a session starts. And then that session will look, this page will reload and you'll be able to again, click in to access the Zoom, um, the Zoom session either within the Whova browser or download um, the link to join the Zoom session automatically. Um, as you can see here, 91 people have indicated they are planning to come to our opening plenary. Um, as you are moving around inside of Whova, I would ask that everyone who's interacting with the agenda, click add to my agenda for the sessions that you're planning on attending. That's gonna help your breakout speakers plan in case 300 people all wanna come to their session, they'll be able to scale up and plan interactive pieces to really interact with you because a 300 person Zoom session is gonna be a little bit different for our breakout speakers than 100 people. Um, additionally, if you're like me, I really need calendar invites or I will forget to go to something. So when you add something to your agenda, Whova will automatically give you the option to download a Google or Outlook calendar reminder so that you can put a reminder for yourself into the calendar um, that, you, that you use. Um, so as you are adding things to your agenda, that's also going to build a personal agenda for you, which you can access under the My Agenda tab. So if I go to My Agenda, instead of seeing every breakout session possible, I'm only going to see those breakouts that I've personally indicated and clicked on to say I'm planning to go to this. Now, if you add something to your agenda and then the day of you decide you don't want to go to that breakout session, nothing is stopping you from going to another breakout session. Um, this again, just really helps us plan to figure out roughly how many people are going to what, uh, to what session. This is also gonna help us in the event we have overwhelming interest in any one breakout session. There is a room limit um, that we will need to, to adjust in case there's 600 people that all wanna go to the same thing. We need to be able to plan for that. So again, that's why we're asking you to build your personal um, your personal agenda. If we jump to the Instagram 101, um, this is my session, so I'm using it as the example because I've tried to build it out. <laughs> um, here you can see the Q&A that us, that we as speakers have launched and also that other people, other questions that people have asked and answered. And so, for example, if you are interested in coming to the Instagram 101 uh, session, we're trying to find out what the biggest challenges people are having with social media. So here we've got, you know, 10 people who have given all sorts of different reasons that their district struggles with social media, and that will help us um, customize our session. Um, there's also the opportunity to just have kind of an ongoing discussion with 
kind of topics that are related to that particular session on the agenda. Um, again, we have polls that people can, can ask and answer. And we have a custom chat, if we want to, specific to this session. The chat that shows up in the agenda is unique to each of the different sessions on the agenda. And that chat is different from the overall community chat. So community has these two little speaker bubble icons and everything posted in this part of the app is public. So for example, if you have a question for us as the organizers, you could pop up to the Ask the Organizers Anything um, discussion board and you can scroll back and see all kinds of the different questions people have had. You can also scroll through this or search through this. For example, if we're interested in finding out what people are saying about new generations exchange, we can type in NGSE and we can see someone posted a topic today about opportunities to potentially do NGSE after COVID is over. Um, any attendee has the ability to add a new topic to the Disc to the public community discussion boards. So this is a great way if you have a question, for example, um, somebody brought up, it would be good to know if who was going to be exchanging next year or not, if we could start a list of districts that have gone ahead and, and indicated that they're not going to be able to exchange next year. Um, so that person created a new topic, put in a brief description and clicked post and a new discussion popped up. Um, we've also had a great, great success this year with people posting discussion topics in Spanish. Um, so please feel free to post honestly in whatever language you're comfortable with. Um, if we have a bunch of attendees from Germany and they want to interact with Rotex who still, who speaks German, feel free to post a discussion topic in whatever language um, you are comfortable in. In the discussion topics, you can also follow um, topics that you want notifications on or opt out of topics um, that you don't want notifications on. So that's the little follow icon. If you comment on a topic, you will automatically follow that topic. Um, so it may be um, interesting to go through there and see what you're following and what you <laughs> don't want to follow anymore. Um, another really cool feature of Whova and and the and the community discussions is the opportunity to host, host virtual meetups. Um, again, anyone can can come in here and click on the yellow virtual meetups option and suggest a new virtual meetup. This is a lot like in a um, in-person conference, if someone were to post, I'm gonna go running tomorrow at seven before the conference, or I'm gonna go to dinner. Anybody that wants to go to dinner is welcome to join me in the lobby at 5 p.m. and we will go off and find somewhere to go to dinner. So in a virtual conference, this is a little bit different, but anyone can create a meetup pick a time and a duration, and you can either connect your own Zoom account or you can use Whova's built-in virtual meeting functionality that works a lot like Zoom. It's a little bit different, but it works a lot like Zoom. And you can post an opportunity to have a short discussion, have a remote yoga session with other people that are interested in yoga, have coffee and discuss how COVID is going in your area. Anyone can suggest a virtual meetup. Um, honestly, at any time, we would just ask that you don't schedule virtual meetups during the actual conference times. So that Friday afternoon, evening, or most of the day Saturday. <laughs> um, so again, anybody can set up this, a virtual meeting um, outside of the, the scheduled agenda. Um, before 